DeAndre, we talked a lot about your efficiency coming into the season and the efficiency you had last season. How did you kind of carry that over into the start of this year? Uh, I think it's just, you know, the work I put in uh, during the summer, mm -hmm. just being confident in it, just trusting it. And, you know, my teammates got me in the right spot and just trying my best to make the shot. DeAndre is one of the better defenders on the team. What has it been like for you working with Dyson Daniels and just seeing him out there as well? I love having Dyson on the team. Uh, like, like you say, he's a great defender. He has a lot of steals. He disrupts uh, you know, the other team's uh, guard. So um, having him on the team is, is definitely a blessing. Yeah, maybe for both you and Dyson got 40 points tonight together, 14 rebounds. Talk about the combination you got when you're playing like that. Um, I'm just happy uh, JJ stayed aggressive tonight. You know, he didn't have a great offensive game, but he made big free throws at the end of the game. Um, and he puts a lot of work in. Uh, I see it, so you know, I'm never mad when he misses a shot. Um, so he, he's going he's going to have a better game than tonight. But I think he played well overall. Um, I know you got asked about Dyson a minute ago, but I want to ask you, like, is <laughs> um, just a little bit more on Dyson. Like, is there a ripple effect? Like, in addition to just him being a good defender, does him doing what he does on the ball kind of have a ripple effect where it makes it a little bit easier for everybody else on the uh, yeah, backside? I, I would say so. You know, just seeing someone pick up like that, um, you know, it definitely helps us. Uh, you know, it gives us energy, and you know, we just try to match the effort. In the first half, when when Beat gets three fouls and Dyson gets three fouls, do, does that kind of is that like disruptive in that maybe you're guarding somebody at that point in the game that you weren't really expecting to guard? Not necessarily just you, but like across the team. Uh, I mean, not really. Um, like I said, we we guard in practice, so uh, we're kind of used to you know guarding different players, um, different positions. But um, yeah. So this isn't really for this game, but I'll. Last game, you, there was that hard foul that, that you got taken down on, and, and Anyeka kind of stepped up a little bit. What does that mean to you when you see him as a teammate doing that? Uh, oh, that's my guy. You know, he's we've been with him for five years. Um, I know he got my back. I got his back. I'm a, uh, I'm a send that money for five. <laughs> Is that Venmo or Cash App or how does that work between? I'm just curious. How whatever does that work has, between? Whatever he has, he might <laughs> give up cash. I don't know. Cool. Um, I did want to ask though about tonight with the offensive boards that Charlotte was able to pick up. When they have some of those long rebounds, how do you guys kind of communicate how to try to space out the floor to avoid them having so many offensive boards? Uh, I mean, I think. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I think. Uh, you know, they have a lot of dudes that can make plays. Um, you know, Grant was in shots, uh, LaMelo got hot. Uh, I think we did a good job of keeping our composure. But as far as, you know, limiting guys, making those tough shots, um, you know, guys are good, they might make those shots. So some nights we're just gonna go our way, some nights it's not, but you know, some nights we just went our way because, you know, we continue, we stuck to the game plan and continue to play our way. What about limiting the offensive boards, I mean? Uh, I think we just got to crash. I mean, we just got to box. Um, they were crashing a lot. I think we did a lot of standing, you know, watching our guys, you know, go to the uh, glass. But um, I'm sure Coach is going to have it on film. We're going to watch it. We're going to work on it. 